Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Brookings Harbor and all the fishing boats at sea. I'm Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. And, and this, this is, is the Insider, Insider Report. Report. So let your ears do the walking as we fill you in on what's going on in the Brookings Harbor area and beyond. Beyond. Well, hello, 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 and welcome to this week's show that keeps you in the know. Hiya, cat. Hi. (laughs) Here we can go. Um, You know, surprisingly uh, busy. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, no, um, uh, we're... We're working on some stuff, getting ready for um, for love letters to open up. Oh, okay. In yeah. Co. in February. And so I'm like practicing recipes and I'm practicing like different things for concessions and stuff. It's going to be a good time. But also too, once again, I've found myself volunteering for someone's event going on uh, oh, with, yeah. uh, with about a week's notice, but it's going to be fun. I'm going to be... Uh, I'm going to be doing some cosplay lip syncing for the Brookings Harbor Community Theater Talent Showcase. That's going oh, to yeah, happen. Oh, yeah, that talent showcase they yeah. got coming up. Yeah. It's happening on Friday the 19th. So it's going to be a fundraiser for them. And they asked if I would, uh, I never want to anger the mouse. So I'm going to be a certain ice princess. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Oh, <laughs> like yeah, I did like princess, a couple yeah. years back with my snowman companion singing some songs. And it's going to be fun. It's going right to be a on. good time. Yep. And uh, we're just. Uh, just so busy all the time, and it's it's kind of nice. I like staying busy like yeah, that. Yeah, it's so. cool. Oh, yeah. Welcome yeah. To my world, I'm never, yeah, I never a dull moment, that's for Absolutely, sure. Absolutely, yeah. 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 So, yeah, yeah. sounds like you were busy. Yeah, well, mm-hmm. last week a lot of people saw on Facebook that Junior went and got his tonsils and his adenoids taken out. Mm-hmm. Little bugger. And so what I wanted to share with everybody, I did a Facebook page, but you don't have Facebook, and some of the other people out there listening probably don't. And it's like, this is too good. To, I got to share this with okay. everybody. It's what happened okay. after Junior had his tonsils and adenoids room. Uh, the operation was a success, and June Bug is doing fine. However, the conversation on Thursday after he realized he couldn't eat certain foods, specifically his chicken nuggets, that was very upsetting uh, to me. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, I, I had to share it with my friends. But here, here's what he says. He goes, Junior, Bapa, I will never forgive you for what you did to me. And I said, well, I am sorry, Junior, but the doctor said it needed to be done, and then he did it. Why are you mad at me? Because I saw you sign the paper giving them permission. I said, well, I guess you got me there, buddy. Guilty as charged. Now, Mm -hmm. I swear, honest truth, two minutes passed. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, he's like, hey, Papa. So this means I'm going to be able to breathe better and sleep better tonight? I said, sure does. And he goes, so that means I will be able to run faster without having problems breathing and do nerf wars without tiring out? I said, I believe so, Junebug. He goes, Thank you, Bapa, for making me stronger. I love you. <laughs> I was like, I love you too, buddy. Whew, that was a close one. Awesome. Yes, indeed. So, yeah, yeah. I went from, as I said before, I went from zero to hero, like just like that, man. I was like, the boy was mad at me, man. And it was like, uh, hey. The kid's got some critical thinking skills. Yeah. You might have a little lawyer on your hands in the yeah, future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going at it, but, then he, but he's quick to realize the, yes. the facts, you know. Absolutely. Like, I like the way it just turned full circle. Oh, so I thought that yeah. was cute. I shared it on Facebook. I Kids thought that was great. Yeah, he so cracked me so up. so cool. Little burger. And I was like, oh, yeah, buddy. Love you too, man. <laughs> But that's all we did. We just, yeah, this weekend, just taking it easy with him the whole weekend. Mm-hmm. Of course, out of school and ice cream and all that well, stuff yeah. that comes with it. Yeah, or so. perks, at least. <laughs> Working on that. So, yeah, he's all better, doing fine and everything. So, yeah, that's the big thing we had going on this weekend. Jeez, like I said, they, we had to go up there 6.30 appointment on Wednesday morning. So, I went up and got a hotel room Tuesday yeah. night. I said, forget that, go to Coos Bay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't want to be driving at 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so, we got that done. So, yeah, that was that. Hope everybody got out there and had some fun this weekend. More fun than I did, that's for sure. <laughs> but uh, yeah, hope everybody had a good time out there. And we got more stuff to talk to you about. We got a guest on here. So before we get going, I'd like to thank Trike City Dispensary, the Oregon South Coast Fisherman, the Castaways, Just the Jeweler, and Oregon Coast VIP Marketing for sponsoring the Insider Report. And if you'd like to sponsor our show or one of the other fine shows we got going on here, All you got to do is go to kciw.org and you will be on your merry way. And speaking of them, the castaways, we got Brother Dave Keene in here, our man in the boat. But he's with us in the uh, studio today. So (laughs) how's it going, Dave? What's going on out there, man? We got nice days here. Yes, Bruce, Cat, good to see you too. Happy New Year, everyone. You were sweating it there for a while while that river was... uh, Yeah, that's you mentioned about your weekend. Our weekend was spent watching the river get... Go up and up and up and up, but it never made it over the bank. Good. I live physically right on the yes, Chateau do. River, North Bank Road. And so uh, it didn't go as high as the forecast, which was a blessing because if it had, it would have definitely Oh, it gone. was going to say it was going to go up, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, it was okay. one of the highest uh, well, forecasts that I've ever seen since we've lived here. So it had me a bit nervous because it also coincided with a king high tide. Yeah. So that's when we have a 
issues because we're in the title zone. Yeah, so yeah. Okay. We made it through and sweet. Here we are. And I, I was I was hoping to be in a boat, but it's just still a little bumpy out there. I saw some trailers, so there's some brave souls out there trying to trying to sneak out the, because it's been a long time since we've been able to get out in the ocean. That fish. weather was just relentless. It wouldn't Correct. stop. Yeah, and, and more coming tomorrow apparently. For oh the, yeah, geez. Uh huh. But if we can get when we finally do get to go out. Uh, the lingcod fishing is, would be excellent. January, February are great times to go catch lingcod. Oh, right on. So uh, we can get two of those per day and still our five rockfish. So bottom fishing is open. Crabbing is open. But with all this fresh water going into the ocean, it'll be a little while before they come back close enough for us wreck people to get them. Oh, okay. They don't like the fresh water. They stay out in front yep. of them. Okay. Or even, you know, really rough water they don't like either. But uh, so we're, but steelhead fever is catching on. Uh, with their steelhead, steelhead in the river, in the Chetco River. Uh, there are some of my friends that are fishing for them as we speak today. A little high water still, but you know, it's a sunny day, nothing else to do. It's also a social gathering when you just show up and hang out with your, your buddies and, you know, pl- it's called plunking where you just cast out the weight and you, it sits on the bottom and your, your spinning glow lures behind spinning and you just wait for the rod to, take off or yeah. the bell to start ringing and, <laughs> and in the meantime you're just telling stories or playing horseshoes or you know whatever whatever we can do we have it's a fun time but so we have that going but we also started our broodstock collection of steelhead so our check go chrome challenge is what it's called this is our sixth year of doing that and so uh that is a fun way to collect broodstock steelhead broodstock because unlike salmon we can net salmon and get the adults and take them to the hatchery we do not net steelhead. We have to catch them by angler cod, oh, okay. by us rod and reel. So we have a little uh, contest where we donate the fish. People can donate their steelhead. Right. And it's taken care of. It gets to the Elk River hatchery, spawned out, put back in the truck. They bring it back alive, and we release it back into the river. Oh, cool. That's okay. pretty cool. Yeah. So it's called live spawn. So it's oh. that's a pretty cool thing. We just started doing that uh, a couple of years ago. Right on. That's so made a difference. So, uh, yes, yeah, so we have steelhead and Rock fishing when we get out in the ocean. That's about it right now. We won't know anything about halibut till February, but we should have a May 1st opening for Pacific halibut. And after that, Chinook salmon, boy, that's a real big question mark again for us. Oh, wow. Okay. Coming up, yeah. We'll wait and see, but, you know, hope for the best, plan for the worst kind of thing, or whatever that saying is. So (laughs) there we are. However, I did hear the coho numbers are up again. So we have Chinook and Coho on the ocean okay. salmon. So with the Coho numbers being being up, we should have a Coho season again. Sweet. That's a silver salmon. So there we go. That's it. You guys got a meeting coming up? Anything? We do. Well, we're still meeting the third Wednesday of every month. So okay. we will have one on the 17th. Yeah, it was January 17th yeah. coming up. Sweet. And then our next one in February, which is February 3rd, February 23rd. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we'll have you on the show before that. Absolutely. Yeah. I hope so. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe I'll even be in a boat. I yeah. really want to get back Maybe in the get boat. Man on the boat. Uh, man on the and, boat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> report back to you on the boat. Right on. Yeah, perfect. Well, good deal. Well, thank you for coming on board and giving us the report there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My pleasure. Always good to see you. Thank yep. you. Mm-hmm. You too. Time to go dancing with Mary Lou, right? Yeah, it's line <laughs> dance time. Yep, yep. I do my duty. Yep. Skip to Mary Lou, my darling. It's yeah, actually, yeah, oh, yeah. It's yeah. actually quite fun. I like it, but don't tell her that. It's, it is, I kind of drag my heels, but it's uh, fun. Yeah, it's, it's fun. good time. <laughs> oh, we'll totally keep that a secret. <laughs> we gave her some love on the air, too, so yeah. Excellent. Yeah, she sent it to me. I think she said something or somebody said mm-hmm. something. There you go. Yeah, perfect. Right on. All righty. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll see you on the next round there, buddy. All you right. bet. Man on the ocean. <laughs> All right, bye-bye. bye-bye. <laughs> Take care. All right, well, we got the fishing report, so now it's time for the music schedule. Go ahead and take it away. Uh, so we still got plenty of stuff happening in January. Starting things off with Cisco and Daltrey, they're going to be at the Brookings Harbors Farmer's Market on the 20th and the 27th, playing from 11 a.m. to about 2.30. And then on the 31st, they're going to be playing at the Checo Activity Center from 11 a.m. to 1.30. Yep, and Tortuga Mexican Restaurant, they got on the 19th. Ranch Party's going to be there from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. And the Mighty Steelheads are playing at the Inateca in Crescent City. That's on the 19th at 8 o'clock. Yep, and Oxford Free Public House on the 23rd. They got an open mic with James DeBottis at 8 p.m. Mm-hmm. And another announcement here about Ranch Party. Again, they're playing on the 19th at Tortuga Mexican Restaurant. Music there running from 6 to 8. Yep, and Elk Valley Casino, the Betty Green Center, they've got on the 27th stand-up comedy with Kabir Singh from America's Got Talent at 8 p.m. 
And then in the Warriors Bar and Grill, music starts at 7. They'll have on the 19th and 20th, Robert Tiernan. And on the 26th and the 27th, they got Hannah Paysinger. Mm-hmm. And then we have a date here for P.A. and T. Roy. They're playing on the 20th. It's going to be at Kuntai happening from 6 to 8. That's right. And then Mike Powell on the 19th, he'll be playing at Chetco Brewing Company, 6 to 8. And we have a couple of dates left here for music at Misty Mountain Brewing. Music there happens from 6 to 8. And on the 19th, it's going to be Lon Goddard. On the 26th, it's going to be Steve Nelson. Yep. And then we got Porta Pints Brewing Company in Crescent City. On the 19th, they'll have Lost Ox at 7.30 p.m. And here's something that I had to throw on here really quick. I just couldn't fit it in because I got it just yesterday. So it's the Brookings Harbor Community Theaters presenting the Winter's Showcase at the Grange. This is happening on the 19th, 7 p.m., featuring local talent of all ages, including dancing, music, and a special guest appearance. Entry by donation, there is a dessert auction. For any questions, you can email them at bhcttheater at gmail.com. And that's the little something you're going to be in there, right? Yes. Yeah, I'm right. going to be Are uh, you the special guest? <laughs> I, if I am, they didn't tell me. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I'll be there in, in sparkles and with bells on. So, oh, sweet. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I'm sure it's going to be a great time, dessert yeah. auction, all that good stuff. Yeah. Right. Awesome. Right. Awesome. Well, hey, we have an event here from SWAC. They're presenting Whale Watching the Oregon Coast. You can join them for a presentation by paleontologist Wynne McLaughlin, Southwestern's Assistant Professor of Geology for Whales of the Oregon Coast. Present, past, and really past. On Wednesday, the 17th at 6.30 p.m., Coos County residents can join in person in the Umpqua Hall Lecture Room. That's Lecture Room 184 on the Coos Campus. That's at 1988 Newmark Avenue in Coos Bay. And Curry County residents can join them for an online watch party in the community room on the Curry Campus. The Curry Campus is located at 96082 Lone Ranch Parkway in Brookings. With whale watching being a major tourist attraction on the Oregon coast, it's easy to think of these iconic animals as a key feature for our region. But this association goes much deeper. The Oregon coast is one of the most important places on Earth for the study of fossil whales. How and when did whales become the mostly peaceful giants we see today? Join paleontologist Wynne McLaughlin as she takes you on a tour through deep time on the Oregon coast to investigate everything from miniature fossil dolphins to the oldest baleen whale to some truly fearsome predators of the past. For more information about this lecture series, you can contact Dr. Wynne McLaughlin. You can call 541-888-7002. Oh, very interesting. That's cool. Yeah. Hey, Lucky 7 Casino is presenting a sports pajama party theme night. This is happening on the 19th at 9 p.m. Come in your coziest pajamas and get in the free play action at the cashier's cage. Enjoy drink specials all night and get DJ Dotov spinning all your favorite tunes. That's right. We got a new event here coming up from Harmony and Me. They're presenting a drumming rhythm workshop number two. And this is at their location at 156. 71 Highway 101 South in Harbor. This is on the 20th at 2 p.m. This will be their second workshop. You can join them for a super fun time learning drumming rhythms from the heart of Africa. And it's now taking place on Saturday. They say all levels of drummers are welcome. Yeah, there you go. Get down here and bang the drum. Hey, Elk Valley Casino, in conjunction with the Party Girls of Curry slash Del Norte County's Quarter Craze Benefit Auctions, is presenting Quarter Craze to benefit the Del Norte County Emblem Club number 175. This is happening on the 20th at 5 p.m. This is the first event of 2024, and they got new changes for the new year. Tickets are available for purchase at Del Norte Office Supply or an Emmon Club member. $5 for pre-sale or $8 at the door. Okay. And the Friends of Music Concert Series is going to be presenting the Bay Area Quintet. This is happening at the Seventh-day Adventist Church. That's 102 Park Avenue in Brookings. It's happening on the 21st of January from 3 to 6 p.m. And Bay Area musicians Tanya Tompkins on cello and Eric Zivian on forte piano began exploring the Beethoven cello sonatas on period instruments in 2000. Tanya was just back from many years in Europe, eager to perform more classical and romantic music on the instruments for which it was written. Eric was excited to collaborate with her and began to immerse himself in the specialized study of performing on period pianos. Over the next few years, they purchased two beautiful historical pianos and began producing concerts in Bay Area residences featuring artists from all over the world. Admission is just $20, 
Students 18 and under always get in for free, and tickets are available for purchase at the door and online. For more information, you can email them at info at ppadelnort.org. That's right. And Universal Heart Center, located at 710 H Street in Crescent City, is presenting Full Moon Gong Sound Bath. This is happening on the 25th from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Join Sela Sacred Sound as gongs and singing bowls bring in the first full moon of the year. Four gongs, five metal singing bowls guide you to a peaceful place behind all thought with beautiful overtones, harmonies, and powerful, tangible vibrations. Chairs provided. Bring your own yoga mat, etc. for grounding floor space. Sliding scale energy exchange. Donations are... Oh, that's what they call uh, donations. <laughs> Sliding scale energy exchange. Otherwise, donations are gratefully accepted after the occasion. Occasion begins with discussion, sound healing, Q&A. Sound starts around 6.15 and for an hour, it'll be going on. Facilitated by professional musician and certified yoga instructor with 35 plus years practicing and the studying therapeutic uses of sound and music. The only thing they didn't feel they needed to do is put their name in there. So I have no idea who it is. <laughs> I get it as it is, so I have no idea who's doing it. But they got 35 plus years experience, so there you go. And the Checo Brewing Co. is presenting a tribute to Rap Brush. This is happening on the 26th of January from 6 to 8. The 26th of January would have been Rap's birthday, so they have a special night planned with a variety of musicians who love to miss rap. If you're a musician who would like to join in on the tribute and would like more details about the event, you can email music at checkobrew.com. Yeah, very sad about that because you know what? I usually hear about somebody passing and Rap was a good friend of mine and I hadn't heard from him in a while mm -hmm. and everything because I email him every for music and everything. I didn't hear he'd even passed. Oh. So this is really sad, you know, for me. I just oh, write it. Yeah. I'm like, well, what? You know? So, yeah. Geez. Geez. Mm -hmm. We lost Tiger Lily and then we lost Rap. No, you know, it's like, no, geez. It's you know, Rap and uh, mm -hmm. Jurassic Country. They were the first musicians on the first cover on the inside of mm -hmm. Southern Oregon. The first cover was the Jurassic Country. Well, he was so, so talented. Yeah, he was very talented. So it's very sad to hear that. And I'm kind of bummed out that I didn't catch it online or something. But yeah. usually people put it out there. So I didn't catch it at all. But anyway, it's very sad to hear. Mm -hmm. Hey, Lucky 7 Casino is presenting Trivia Night on the 26th. You're invited to join them for Trivia Night on Friday. Buy in for three rounds and get some free slot play. Winners split the prize pool. Plus, cash is added to each round. Put on your thinking caps and join them for some trivia fun. All right. Now it's time for quotes from famous people with Cousin Bruce. Well, and in, in honor of Martin Luther King's birthday, this one's for Martin Luther King here. He was born on January 15th, 1929. He says, darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. He says, make a career of humanity. Commit yourself to the noble struggle for equal rights. You will make a better person of yourself, a greater nation of your country, and a finer world to live in. He said, we must come to see that the end we seek is a society at peace with itself, a society that can live with its conscience. And last but not least, he said, true peace is not merely the absence of tension, it's the presence of justice. <coughs> Hope you enjoyed this week's quotes from Martin Luther King with Cousin Bruce. Till next week, have a great one. All righty. And Sunset Family Pizza is presenting an at-risk youth Yahtzee fundraiser. So it's going to be happening on the 26th. Check-in is at 5.30 p.m. The game itself starts at 6. And Curry County's Juvenile Department is hosting a game night fundraiser on January 26th. This is a great fundraiser that helps our Curry County youth. There are limited seats and tickets, um, and it looks like the, the ticket price is a $20 donation. Yes, indeed. Mm-hmm. Hey, dance in Pistol River. It's the Community Contra Dance at the Pistol River Friendship Hall located at 24252 Carpenterville Road in Pistol River. This is happening on the 27th, 5 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Everyone is welcome. Open to singles, couples, and families. Mm -hmm. Casual social dance featuring fun and easy contra and English country dances. No partner or previous experience needed. Dance instructions and calling by Paul Poreski and Laura Lee Cundiff will be provided. And then they have live music by the Pistol River Players. This is free to the public, but a $5 donation is suggested. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. And Danaka is presenting Ji Yoon Kim at the Crescent Elk Auditorium. That's at 994 G Street in Crescent City. That's happening on the 27th at 3 p.m. 
Danaka presents their third concert of the 2023-2024 performance series with Ji Yoon Kim, featuring a blend of poetry and music. Ji Yoon delights audiences with a sparkling combination of sensitive artistry, broad emotional range, and impeccable technique in her innovative concert experiences. This concert will include video, poetry, piano, and incredible true-life stories. This is a special matinee performance. Tickets are now available online at danaka.eventprite.com, and they are currently available at Del Nor Office Supply in Crescent City. General admission is $20, senior price is $18, students get in for $15, and any remaining tickets will also be available at the door. Yes, indeed. And Curry Public Library District in Gold Beach is presenting Reproduce and Elevate Your Art. Learn how to make high-quality prints of your art and architectural plans using the library's wide-format printer. Ages are teen or adult. This program is part of the Elevate Your Art series offered by the Curry Public Library Tech Lab in the winter spring of 2024. Discover how the Tech Lab can help you make your art, craft, or hobby to the next level through this series of programs. All programs are free. Equipment is provided. Please reserve a space by going to www currypubliclibrary.org slash events so they can meet the equipment needs for each participant. That's cool. All right. Very nice. And hey, now it's time for a bit of weird history with Bushwhacker Bruce. Right. G'day, cat. G'day, mates. Bushwhacker Bruce here, and welcome to this week's bit of weird history for your knowledge pleasure. Did you know that the British military had a department designated to create secret devices to help soldiers during World War II? It's true. And here's the story. Tiny hidden survival tools packed into the waistband of your pants may sound like something fantastical from a spy movie, but in the case of British wartime pilots, they were a reality. During World War II, the Royal Air Force sent its aviator skyward with all the tools they needed to complete a mission, along with a few that could help them find their way home if they crash-landed behind enemy lines. Well, three months after entering World War II, the British military launched its M-19 Division, a secret intelligence department tasked with helping service members evade enemy forces or escape capture. Between 1939 and 1945, masterminds at M-19 created a variety of intelligent gathering and survival tools for troops, such as uniform camouflaging, die-shaped like candy almonds, ultra-compressed medications packed inside pins, and button compasses. All that streak navigational tools were typically made from two buttons, the bottom featuring a tiny needle, when balanced on a spike, the top button acted as a compass that rotated with the Earth's poles. Two dots painted on the metal with luminous paint represented north, and one indicated south. M-19 distributed more than 2.3 million of its button compasses during the war. They could be paired with secretive maps that were smuggled to capture service members inside care packages delivered to prisoner of war camps. Often printed on silk for durability and waterproofing, the 44 different maps sent to different camps based on location were tucked discreetly into boot heels and board games. While the ingenuity worked by the war's end, M-19 was credited with helping more than 35,000 Allied soldiers escape and make their way home. Well, all the bushwhacker can say is, James Bourne, eat your heart out, mate. <coughs> Hope you enjoyed this week's bit of history of yours truly, Bushwhacker Bruce. Till next time, keep it real, but always keep it weird. Yeah, I've heard of that. That's a really cool. Yeah, that really indeed. Cool Thirty-five thousand. I remember reading about that. You know, I'm seeing it. They've done it in movies too, where they showed it. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, and like pretty the, the cool. Just espionage innovations that they came up with during that time. It was just like wow. Yeah. Okay. For the thirties and forties, you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Hey, we've got another program here from the Curry Public Library. That's the one up in Gold Beach. They're presenting Memory Cafe Curry. Memory Cafe Curry will meet the third Wednesday of every month from 1030 to noon at the Curry Public Library in Gold Beach. To register for this program, they ask that you email memorycafe at cplib.net or give them a call at 541-247-7246. A Memory Cafe is an informal social gathering for older adults living with memory loss as well as their care providers. Care partners may include but are not limited to spouses, siblings, children, or friends whose social lives are often just as affected as their loved ones. Memory cafes are designed to be a casual and stress-free gathering to allow care partners the opportunity to relax and socialize with others 
In a similar situation, Memory Cafe Curry will be staffed by a qualified social service provider, library staff, and volunteers. Yes, indeed. Very cool. Hey, the VFW is having a Legacy Bricks fundraiser. VFW Post is raising money to fix its building, upgrade its heating, electricity, and improve its landscape. They have raised approximately 30000 but need another 20000 to complete the work. They are selling legacy bricks that will highlight the entrance of the building, featuring messages of memory to veterans respected by their loved ones. Each brick will cost the donor 100 bucks, and every purchased brick will be laid professionally in front of the post for everyone to observe. They will also conduct more yard sales, provide meals for a normal donation, and sponsor other groups and their activities. Once the building is completed, the VFW Post 966 will serve the veterans and community of Brookings. They are active in the Brookings community, member of the Brookings Chamber of Commerce, and supporter of the Brookings City Council. They support our veterans, providing ceremonies, funerals, and memorials. The VFW Post 966 is a 501c19, a nonprofit group, with all members being veterans of foreign wars. Their national charter began in 1939. They have approximately 20 million members throughout the United States. Veteran Post 966, located at 507 Pacific Avenue in Brookings. All right. And then uh, we have a PSA here for a new series here from KCIW, the KCIW Soapbox Series. KCIW is giving folks a chance to speak their mind on a new show called the KCIW Soapbox. Basically, KCIW is offering two minutes of airtime to anyone who has something to say. Of course, there are a few rules, no cussing, no slander, of course, no advertising. But other than that, folks can share what's on their mind. The studio is open every Wednesday from 2 to 3. This is for people to drop in and record. Well, there you go. Get on your soapbox there. This time they provide one for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And before we get going here, it's getting down to the nitty gritty. Uh, We got game night at the Whimsical Griffin going on at 615 Checo Avenue by the Redwood Theater. Tuesdays and Fridays, 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. We got Magic the Gathering, Dungeons and Dragons, board games, and a lot more. Mm -hmm. So there we go. Before we get going here, I want to say please support local businesses. Remember to always shop local. And it's time to close out this week's show. Before we go, I'd like to give a shout out to our fearless producer, Brother Tom, for all his great work making us look and sound good on the radio. And I want to thank you all for tuning in to this week's Insider Report. And please make sure to tune in on a daily basis to KCIW 100.7 FM and listen to all the fine shows that they have to offer. You can also catch all the fantastic show podcasts, including the Insider Report, at kciw.org. And hey, while you're there, check out the live streaming as well. Well, hey, until next week, this is Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. We are signing off, so keep it real and spread the love and the peace every chance you get. Hey, we'll we'll see see you out there. there. Bam! That was great. Today's show deserved a rim shot. That was gold. That's it. That's all right. I love it. Music credits for the preceding show go to kciw.org slash credits.